And now, The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy. Iran's new president, Hassan Rouhani, lost no time in pledging that Iran's support for the Assad regime will continue. On Inauguration Day, Mr. Rouhani met with Syrian Prime Minister Wa'el al-Halki and said no force in the world can shake the alliance between the two countries. That alliance has been costly for Iran. Reports say that despite the dire economic conditions in Iran, billions of dollars have been sent to aid Assad and that Iranian-supported Hezbollah troops and IRGC Quds Force members have been fighting in Syria on his behalf. The United States, which is the single largest contributor of humanitarian assistance for the people of Syria, has pledged additional support to the Syrian opposition in its attempt to resist Assad's onslaught. White House Press Secretary Jay Carney explained why. There is no question that Assad, with the support of Hezbollah and Iran, is continuing to wage a brutal assault on the Syrian people. And because of the support he's gotten from other bad actors in the region, that assault has intensified. And that is why it is so important that the United States and our allies and our partners provide the assistance that the opposition needs to strengthen itself so that it can withstand the Assad forces and the Hezbollah and Iranian-backed forces. Mr. Carney said the United States is working with its allies and the Syrian opposition to bring about an end to the carnage and to a political transition leading to a government that is responsive to the will of the Syrian people. That was The View from Washington, an explanation of U.S. policy.